Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I am good, my name is Jocelyn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, karibu sana. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming to watch what I bring you. Guys, don't worry why I have a knife. I am at the village and I want to, of course in the village we can't go buying um, meat, we want to eat chicken. So uh, you will watch as I slaughter the chicken, but first watch a nikimbize because eh, so now you are too cool, see it, it cuckoo ziko, we shall go see it, cuckoo ziko too, hapos na ngojea. So I have to to run after a chicken, There's, there are many, so nita zikimbiza, ile nita shika ndo yenye tutachinja, so that we have, um, it's, it's what we are going to have for dinner, and some Kenya jimboga. Of course in the village we cannot eat skumawiki like uh, the time we are in Nairobi. When you are in the village you eat fresh vegetables from the shamba, chicken from, inaitu wangu aje, iyo nyumba ya kuku, lakini, he, kuku saizu wamekua kikula the whole day, so, Nikukimbiza na kimbiza kuku saizu wase. So, come with me guys. So guys, nimeshika kuku. And I want to slaughter. Uh, hey. Najua, na, nataka kwanza ni waonyesha. Because I know so many people do not know how to slaughter chicken. So we are going to do it the, the, the traditional way because most people are used to just going to the butchery or maybe to a supermarket where unakuta kuku ilichinjwa somewhere else, ikapakejiwa, ikaletwa kuuzwa. But mimi, nataka kuonyesha, maybe some people maybe think I'm a, a slay queen. I'm not. I'm, uh, nimelelewa ushago. I am a village girl, a typical village girl. So, Nataka kuchinja kuku, guys, come with me. Mwone venye kuku inachinjwa. So that hata wewe next time, even in your home, you can go. Usienda huko, siju naenda, siju ni bama, ama wapi huko kwenye kuku zinauzwa. Then you want to buy chicken yenye mesha chinjwa. Ujui ilichinjwa sangapi. I'm not saying labda wana chinjanga, siju inalala mda mrefu. But, ni vizuri kununua kuku, ambayo inapumua, yenye nagimbia, so that you come and do it yourself. That's when you are assured of eating something fresh. So guys, Let's go and uh, let's do it. Okay. So guys, I want to, first of all, unakanyaga migu, migu ya kuku. Na wewe kuku, ish. Unakanyaga kuku, na migu, migu yake yote mbili, and then the, the wings. It's not wings, mm. it's mabawa. Unazi twisty, uh, uh. you know I'm left-handed, guys. And... <laughs> So, <laughs> uyu kukua nataka kukua stubborn. So, nakanyaga hivi, and then, na twist hizi mabawa ndio isikusumbue, so that, uki, uki weka chini, unakanyaga mabawa hivi, and then, you, you cut the neck. Hivi. So, Ukikata shingo. Like you wait. Ina, <laughs> do I say gas? Sijui inafanya. Ina, ina, ndo inajaribu kukufa. So, unaikanyaga mpaka, it's not moving. Like, until you don't feel any movement for the chicken. So, let's wait. Naona bado ina, 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 Ina tingika tingika. So we have to wait until it may relax. I think it may kufa. So now, tutaihang mahali. Ija kufa vizuri. Tutaihang mahali so that hii damu imuagike. So that we drain the, the blood before we dip it in hot water to remove the feathers. So I will hang it here. This is a utensil rack in the in the village. So I will uh, I will just hang it here so that we can drain all the blood before before we before we we dip it in hot water. 
I'm an issue for maybe some some five minutes, five to seven minutes or ten or so. And then we can now dip it in hot water so that the feathers are loose. Because you can't dip it in cold water, it has to be hot water so that is a nyoya ni raisi kutoa. And in and in the village we eat even the this legs and the head. So we are not the only thing we are going to discard are the feathers. And some people also eat the chicken intestines, but eh, yo, yo mutani forgive, I don't. But we will remove the gizzard, the liver, the heart. We will eat the legs, everything apart from the feathers. According to the YouTube um, guidelines, and uh, maybe some people can be disgusted. So we are not going to show you how it's draining, but we are waiting for it to drain some blood. I think we are done. I think five minutes are over. So, so we remove it. Put it in this uh, bucket. This bucket we use it. We use it when we are wa washing utensils, so it's okay. We can dip it in here, and then now we can pour hot water so that we remove the feathers. I'm going to show you how we are going to, to light the fire. We are, we are using firewood because Ushago um, lazima to experience to him and you know bana. So let me show you how we are going to light um, the fire so that we can now cook our chicken. So I'm going to use, um, I'm using this one. This is uh, the majani is mekauka, the miti, and these are some pieces of papers. Is it just this idea to light up? the fire so that uh, to share panga easy ndio sasa tutaweka hizi miti ndio ndio moto yetu iweze kuwaka vizuri so guys let me show you how we are going to do it mhm mm sema unaanza na nini so unaanza na i'm starting with the, these dry leaves and then put some pieces of papers and then uh, after I have put the pieces of papers, I'm going to put the, now the, the, the small, I start with small pieces of, of uh, firewood and then later put, uh, put the, the bigger ones so that easy logo, there's an idea, there's an idea easy to work with Zuri. So, after putting the manioya, we are still in the back. We are still in the back. So, 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 we remove them completely. I'm going to cut the chicken into pieces, but I'm going to be assisted by Auntie. Because you know you cannot cut it alone. You need someone to hold it for you. And this okay, apa karibu kidogo. So mimi ni takata kulingana na what my mama told me to do. I'm left-handed, guys, musijali, but I'm very careful. So I'm cutting the chicken into pieces. I can't wait. Kitambo ni kule kukuya ushago. So, mimi huwa, wait a minute, auntie. Wait. Sasa, kuna venya miu pasua hapa nyuma. Ndiyo ikuwe raisi kutuanisha. Pati ambele na ya nyuma. So, eh, na hii kukui imeshiba. Hii kitu inaituangu aje. 
I don't know how it's called. It, it, is it the gut where the where food is stored before it's it's digested? So, eh, hey, meja ilikufaka imeshi bayi kuku. So, wacha ni 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 separate kwanza. I hope I will not bust this thing because it usually smells so bad. Wakati uh, imeja chakula, so I hope sita 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 ipasua vibaya. So guys, I'm going to separate the the chest from the back. The back from the chest. The chest from the back. Uh huh. Wallahi nimeikata sijui haja. Mimi si mtu wa kuuza kuku jamani. I'm just going to do it how I know it's done best. Yeah, like this. So, anti hold it for me. Shika hizi. So that ni kata hii hivi. Ni separate hii hivi. Let's see. Ah, shika. Kwanza kabla tushike hiyo. Wacha ni toy this. Is it called the gut, guys? Comment down below and tell me iki tu yenye meja mahindi. Kuku ikichinjwa kama ilishiba sana. It usually has some food. Is it called the gut? I'm not sure. Comment down below mniambie venye inaitwa. So hold it like this. And then I usually see what work is separate haka kakitu from 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 the shoulder part but I prefer cuz I feel like this one does not have enough meat so mimi I do not separate this one from this I usually nishiki anti I usually cut it like this so I would prefer so that ndio tusipeleke mtu asara ju mwingine amekula tae Uh, let me show you. Mwingine amekula tae ati alafu unapea mtu mwingine hii. Can never be me. So, I usually start from the shoulder. So I don't separate I usually don't separate this one from this. Mimi I usually eat the thigh, guys. Because eh Mr. Aki Asara. We imagine kuku ya kienyeji and then and this our chicken is very soft. I think it will not even take us a lot of time to to prepare, to pick a even. I'm really hungry and I can't wait. Kukula, kuku, shika hivi anti. Na na mboga za kienyeji. Mimi niko left-handed wa say. So don't mind me. So I like my favorite part this one or this one. So imagine mtu amekula hii mtu amekula aka kapis minus this one alafu mwingine amekula hii ama hii no nimekata so nakatanga hivi So I prefer this piece this part Guys, do you know parts of the the internal organs of the chicken? This one is um inaitwa ngwaje. Ile yenye ukitafuna inataka kutoroka kwa mdomo. It's not the liver. And uh, this is this was a male chicken, ni jogo. So these are the scrotum, at least najua some parts. But hii part inaitwaje? This is the liver. Hii ni gizzard, hii ni in intestines. Hii ni heart. Guys, in heart. How many knows the heart? These are the lungs of the chicken. This is the heart. These are the this is the liver. This is the gizzard. What's the use of the gizzard, guys? In Nairobi, when you're buying chicken, they don't remove this thing. According to our Kisi culture, according to the Kisi culture, we remove this thing. E. Sijui naitwa aje, guys. 
Inakwanga imestow some poop. So that's why we remove it so that now when you are enjoying your back unauma ikitu ni tamu so unauma ikiwa umetoa ikitu you are comfortable with it na hapo unaona venye ni safi I also remove this the scrotum so kuna watu wenye wana wanaikulanga but me I throw it away this is the bag in case we, if there is a father in that home they eat the bag so we are not going to break it so baba wa nyumba or mzee wa hiyo boma eats the entire bag so we are not going to cut it into pieces and then now this is the the neck so guys let me show you something i'm sure kuna mtu hajui this is our gizzard now eh uh, ukienda ta most of the places where wanauza kuku wanakatanga hivi and then kuna mchanga mchanga na mapup yenye natoka ngapa ndani but usually let me show you there is a way you can do it and remove it so well without breaking the mchanga mchanga stuff the dirty stuff so una chapa chapa hivi una chapa hii giza hivi unaichapa kabisa and then sasa una make sure una cut up pa vizuri uh karibu ni kata unakata hivi so that una unakaa nika unachana unairarua yani kuchana kurarua Kiswahili sanifu actually ni kuchana so inakaa nika unachana unachana so that we like get it what ni ngumu kupatia but let me just try kuna venye una, unaitoa vizuri yeah check come come see kuna venye una 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 nini una peel unakaa nika una, unaona ile mchanga mchanga ndio hii but now you unakuwa ni kama unatoa maganda oh my god it's breaking what kuna venye unaitoa hivi vizuri vizuri so that you don't break the the mchanga mchanga stuff my friend where well, the knife was very sharp it broke it but anyway i i think you are getting what i'm trying to show you so i i kitu ndio una peel so that utoe hii uchafu isi usishike you peel it so nicely like this like this like this like this so and then now una unaikata hivi unaona so unaona utashika mauchafu uchafu usikie vibaya so our gizzard is ready we can wash it and cook it very nice remove the liver I I cut off the intestines. Mm -hmm. So this this is these are the lungs and this is the heart. So I will I will cut like this and then what una pasua the heart katikati hivi vizuri. Unaona yeah, anatomy of food animals guys. Hey, I understand this these things. So, nimepasua heart katikati. So, we don't throw away anything as I told you guys. So, we are now preparing the head. We are making it. We are removing some parts that we don't eat. So, kwanza unapanua mdomo hivi. This this is the tongue. So, we don't eat the tongue we pull it out like this like this this is the tongue so we throw it away and then this is the beak we remove it na hii ya chini pia the lower one we remove it like this this is the beak so we throw it away now our head is ready this thing is so sweet inakuwa kama ulimi ushaikula ulimi ya ngombe ni tamu kama ulimi ya ngombe so we will wash it so well and prepare it
we want to fry our chicken now i'm cutting the onion leeks uh, so that we can fry our chicken and have our supper Chicken yetu ndio hii na hivi nyanya. Eh, kwa Mungu mimi I am salivating. Can't wait. So, wacha hizi nyanya ziive mbio mbio. And then our stew will be ready. So that we feast on the chicken. This is awesome guys. Nilikuwa nimemiss kuku ya nyumbani sana. Sana sana sana. wacha nyanya hivi kidogo ndio tu nini ndio tu kupikia stones my friends we african women african village girl unajua mnaniangalia zile za wewe sasa yes me i can do it guys So uh, I have added the when I drained some the water that was boiling with the chicken that soup I drained into this fryer so after the mekaanga with the with the leeks leek onions and the tomatoes now I have added that um, soup that was boiling initially with the chicken so that we make some soup because we don't want to eat something dry so what I chemke chemke kiasi so that now we can feast on the chicken yes we will be done ikichemka kiasi we are good to go our chicken is ready guys i want to remove it from the fire so now we are going to cook ugali and i am going to step on this stone as usual the village girl Siana slay queen usiana mtu ametengeneza makucha huko. So tunapika ugali na stones. Hapa ushago. Chanyangeze unga. I add some flour and let it boil for some time. So guys, kupikia stones na my friends it's not easy but our ugali is almost ready. 
Kwanza kupika unga ya kusiaga is hectic. Guys, it's not a, a joke. So wase ugali yetu iko sawa. I can assure you. Well, yetu iko poa wase. Our ugali is ready. Alafu kuna hii ya huku kando the ukoko. I don't know how ukoko is called in uh, Poverty to your home. Comment down below, guys, and tell me whether that is true. Because I've eaten this the rest of my life. This thing is so sweet. Even with crisps, now we are bomb, guys. Hmm. 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 Mm, which other language? Rasho, Utoni, Nyombo, Ekerero, Rasho, name them. Sinimeto Shamboga. It's not a joke cooking with Grandi Nimis. You met Oshana Ivy, Kwase. Some firewood has remained and we are done cooking. So I'll switch it off by doing like this. This is like a way of preserving it for for later use because at least the other the questions are zina zina iva apa too so so even is a kesho so to not to a hivo we are done and we are not going to use now this this firewood we can use it tomorrow for cooking. So guys, food is ready. Musini judge. I am so hungry. I haven't eaten for some time now. So um, I'm now enjoying. I told you <laughs> I have to eat the head. This thing here. So that is it, guys. Kwa ground. I'm not eating alone. That's why mnaona chakula ni kubwa hivi kuna watu awataki kuonekana kwa camera. So um let's now enjoy our meal so guys consider if you like this video give me your comments give me a thumbs up comment down below muniambie so far mume ona kama ninatosha mboga ama sitoshi mboga i am a typical village girl i've grown up in a in a village and this is how we do stuff guys so um wacha sasa nijibambe it's been uh, good and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Comment down below muniambie muneza ni suggestia also whatever you want me to to bring to the channel. Na wapenda sana guys. Till next time. Bye bye.